Hey, thanks for taking a moment to learn about our year-end campaign here at Experience Israel Now. We're raising $50,000 by December 31st so we can be in the best position to take the life-changing message from the land of the Bible to people everywhere in 2022. <laughs> now, what exactly does that mean? Well, it's hard to be specific when we're living in such a season of great uncertainty. Ever since the COVID-19 pandemic hit in March of 2020, all of our lives have been surrounded by uncertainty. But here's what we're planning to do in the next year and why we're raising money for these projects right now. First of all, and maybe most important, we'd like to get back to Israel as quickly as possible, hopefully in the spring of 2022, to do some more filming. At the moment, Israel is closed again, so we can't even make arrangements for that trip. But as soon as the gates open, we're hoping to fly over and film for two weeks. Did you know that we already have more drone video footage of biblical sites than any other ministry or organization that we're aware of? You know, that's only happened because people have been so generous with their financial resources in the past six years, and especially in our year-end campaigns. In 2022, we think we can do some filming while the tourists are still away. There may never be another year quite like this. So we are raising money now so that we can be ready to go then. Now here's something else we'd like to do. For the first time, we're going to host a regional Bible conference. We're bringing in author Cindy Parker from Philadelphia for this event. She's going to help me teach for two days at Southside Baptist Church in Warner Robins. We hope this is going to be the first of several regional conferences. I can't wait for you to meet Cindy. She's a fabulous teacher. She was a professor in Jerusalem for four years, and what a great book has she written. You're going to love it. Having the funds to host this conference up front means we can keep the costs low for participants, and make sure we get off to a great start. Another goal we will always have as a part of our year-end campaigns is getting more pastors and students to Israel. Our scholarship funds took a real hit in 2020. We had several pastors ready to go, and then the pandemic hit. Our travel plans have been in chaos ever since. We've still got travelers waiting for their trips to Israel, their 2020 trips to Israel, who started paying for those trips in 2019. Now, when our trips start back, we want to be ready to take more pastors and more students with us. The trip is expensive. Most pastors and almost all students can't afford to make this trip unless they get some help from people who care. And that's why we will always devote a portion of our donation income, especially at the end of the year, to these scholarship funds. And finally, in these years of great uncertainty, we just want to be ready to go wherever God opens a door for us. Our main ministry, as you probably know, is not taking people to Israel. It's rather bringing Israel to people who can't make the trip. In the past 22 years, I've taken 551 people to Israel on airplanes. But in the past six years, attendance at our presentations has topped 67,000. So for every one person I've taken to Israel, more than 120 have seen at least one of our presentations. You know, what a joy this work has been. What an opportunity lies before us even now. You know, just a few days ago, I was contacted by a seminary representative in Mulawi. I've already had the privilege of teaching Bible geography with all of our EIN visual tools and resources. I've already done that in Zambia. So the idea of returning to the southern part of Africa was really exciting. Of course, the new pandemic variant stopped that conversation before it could even continue to a decent level. But at least the conversation started. And you know, tell you the truth, whether a pastor calls from Louisiana, Maryland, South Carolina, Alabama, Georgia, or Malawi, I really want to be ready to go. What a joy it has been over these past six years to talk with a lot of pastors around the country. You know, they invariably ask if they want me to come and host a conference for them. Look, what does this cost? What, what, what's it going to cost our church? And I get to tell them. I've got a group of financial backers. I've got a group of donors that have made sure that the only thing you and I need to talk about is what we'd like to do and when we might be able to do it. Churches, well, they almost always give us something for a conference, and many of them are incredibly generous. 
but we've never charged anyone for this ministry. Not a school, not a prison ministry, and not even a church. That's because people like you have made sure I can make offers like that. We just want to go. If you've made it to the end of this video, you're a very special person to me personally, and I appreciate you. I'm not exaggerating about this. Every single day, right after my Bible reading, I spend time in prayer. And in my prayer, I always thank God for the privilege of doing what I do and for all of the people who make sure I can do what God has called me to do. So this year-end campaign, it's important. Our donors who give monthly, oh, they're so important. And I appreciate them so much. There are people who give all throughout the year as they feel led. That's incredible. Our prayer partners are incredibly important. But this year-end campaign, it's also a critically important part of what we do at Experience Israel now. We're wrapping up a really good year. It's been a year of uncertainty following 2020, which was even a greater year of uncertainty. And now we head into 2022. I want to thank you for helping me do what I do over this next year. Thank you for helping so many people, let's put it this way, experience Israel right now.